Hello everyone. I recently interacted with many data engineers who are currently working in the industry for last four to five years. Some are even working for more than seven to eight years. And I also interacted with some of the people who are trying to get into the data engineering field. In the last two weeks, I think I have interacted with more than 20 to 30 people. And I realized that there are some group of people who have some particular type of problems. What that problem is? So they are giving interview to multiple company, four to five company and they are not selected. When I asked them that, do you follow this strategy? And most of the time I'm amazed to see that they are actually not following that strategy. So let me just reveal my strategy and this I have learned from someone who is a data engineer in Google. See, if you are giving interview for any domain oriented jobs like data scientist, machine learning, data engineering, data analyst or any other domain oriented jobs, you have to figure out that what all skills are needed. Let's suppose for the data engineering role, you need Apache Spark, Airflow, basic SQL and the basic DSA part. You, you have gone through the job descriptions. Most of the job descriptions has this particular thing, this particular four thing. Let's suppose you have learned it. When you are giving interview, then you should write it down after your interview. What I mean to say that let's suppose I'm giving interview for some company, Paytm, cool. So Paytm in that particular interview, Paytm interviewer will ask me some sets of questions, right? After that interview, what I do, I just have this type of diary with me, okay? And I just go and I just write that what all questions he has asked, he or she has asked to me. And there may be uh, some questions which, uh, which I was not able to answer, right? So I just divide into three parts. The first part, very easy question. I was able to explain it very easily. The second part, is that some of the questions uh, where I was struggling to answer it and third question the questions which I don't know right so after some interview after four or five interview if you follow this strategy of writing your all the questions that is asked in that particular interview you will find that a domain industry actually has only 40 to 50 sets of questions that's it and everyone is actually repeating the same type of question. And you will able to make your strategy by your own. Instead of asking someone, I get this type of questions, Ankur, what should I read in the, uh, for the SQL? What should I read for the DSA part? Uh, what should I uh, read for the data engineering part? In which area of Apache Spark I should follow? So you can actually answer this question all by yourself. So let's suppose you give five interview and then write it down all those questions after the interview. So what will happen? You will have some sets of questions and you will realize that actually there are only 40 to 50 questions which interviewers are going to ask you. So this is very simple strategy, but it is it has helped me a lot. And I have seen many good developers doing that. I was thinking that this strategy is known by everyone but i am amazed to see there are people who are not able to qualify for multiple questions uh, one after another but then also they are not following this strategy and let me tell you you should write your interview questions after the interview within at least two hours don't expect that you will remember all those questions after two hours after two hours you will surely forget that questions so let, uh, let me just give you one example. In Apache Spark, one of, uh, in one of the interviews, somebody has asked me uh, that, uh, do you know uh, the two types of deployment that is uh, mostly used uh, for deploying any Apache Spark based uh, project, right? So there are two types, client types and cluster types. So in, I am very good at Apache Spark, but I am not that uh, uh, great with the theoretical part. So I was able to explain, but he was not happy. But 
uh, then I gone after my interview and written down that particular questions and just look through the uh, some random YouTube video. And in the next video itself, the same question was asked to me. And I was able to explain very much clearly. So always write your questions. Let's suppose you have been given some DSA problems. And just write it down and just try to solve. So what happens that people are given DSA problem. They are not able to solve it and they just forget it. They, do, they don't try that particular question after it, their interview itself. So never ever do that. If you are given some sets of questions, then you just write it down and try to solve it if you are not able to solve in the interview uh, part. So that will help you a lot. Uh, so and you will realize that actually people are asking the questions uh, from that part, some particular domains multiple times like binary search. It's very much asked in the data engineering interview uh, where the DSA questions are asked. Like SQL part, the Windows functions are very much asked. So you will prepare, uh, prepare on Windows function or the binary search and that will help you. So always keep one diary handy with you. Just write that what all questions the particular interviewer has asked me within two hours itself after your interview and that will help you a lot. I think uh, this message will convey some meaning to all the persons who are not able to qualify for one uh, to interview uh, uh, interview and this strategy might help someone if it is helping you or if you find it useful please like comment and subscribe I am trying to create quality video and on every Friday I am trying to make the video uh, something like this what I am creating today and I'm trying to uh, help people who are getting into the data engineering field or who are getting into the project, uh, the product based companies for the data engineering world. Hope it was useful to you. Let's meet for the next video and let's discuss. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.